Hello everyone, this is Ayam and welcome back to Ayam Vibes. Sa video pong ito ay pag-uusapan naman natin ang Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics strand. Isa po ito sa mga strands sa academic track ng senior high school. STEM is important because it pervades part of our lives. Ang STEM po is an intertwining disciplines when applied in the real world. The difference of STEM curriculum with the other strands and track is that they focused on more and advanced concepts and topics. So under this track, you can become a pilot, an architect, an astrophysicist, a biologist, a chemist, an engineer, a dentist, a nutritionist, a nurse, doctor, and a lot more. And those who are also interested in marine engineering should also take this track. So, ano-ano yung mga bagay na kailangan nating malaman about STEM? Okay, first and foremost, mga anak, STEM is pretty different and likely really difficult. Take note of the word, really difficult. Opo, unang-una kasi kapag kumuha ka ng STEM, meron siyang grade limit. It should be wala kang 85 na grades pababa. So, mataas ang standard ng pagiging STEM. Remember, the discipline that STEM focused are on science, technology, engineering, and math. So, while technology and engineering might sound like fun, I mean, Di ba kasi gumagawa sila ng mga robots or nagro-robotics sila sa loob ng klase and, and I think it's a funny thing, you know. But for a large portion of potential students, science and math are very much not fun. Unfortunately, being able to quickly master these two subjects is an integral part of doing well in STEM. So kung hindi ka magaling sa math at hindi ka rin mahusay sa science, eh, I think hindi kayo magiging close ni STEM. Second thing is, STEM is a new way of learning. So, as a philosophy, a STEM is meant to create a program that integrates um, all four disciplines in a way that forces the students to use um, cross-disciplinary knowledge to solve problems. So, this requires a significant amount of creativity and flexible thinking as well as technical knowledge and mastery of each individual discipline. So, imagine... It takes a four. Kung sa iba, nagfo-focus lang sa isang subject, um, English career or social studies or whatever. For STEM, apat po yung ipaprioritize natin dito subject. Number three, STEM gives less freedom to choose classes for fun. Uh, hindi ko sinasabi na wala tayong chance na maging masaya sa, sa track na ito, but... Because STEM students requires a solid foundational understanding of a broad array of subjects, in order to succeed, they typically have less control over what courses they take and what order they, they, they take them. Um, the students in other programs, after all, while other students are only required to gain a mastery of a single discipline as mentioned a while ago, STEM students are required to gain mastery of four. So as a result, Uh, mga STEM students might not be able to take any extra classes outside of their STEM requirements. So, uh, maaaring um, bawas or mas mababa ang kanilang mga extracurricular activities such as sports, ang inyong love life, baka makompromise, or baka yung ibang forte ay maaaring apektado. But not really sa lahat ng mga sadyante kasi may mga iilan naman na kayang ibalanse ang curricular and extracurricular activities. This might not seem like an issue to an um, specially driven student. Ano po? Most people go into STEM with an idea of the difficulties that come in the program and are willing to take on the challenge. So, however, with this restrictive schedule and high-stress environment, finding time to explore um, your passions or simply take a break becomes extremely important for STEM students. Otherwise, they could quickly burn out. So, dapat alam mo na na medyo mahirap itong track or strands na kukuhain mo. Pang-apat po is STEM programs are a tone of work. Even STEM students who are already gifted in all four disciplines, no, magagaling na sila, 
pero nag-challenge pa rin sila sa, sa, sa amount of homework and studying required by each class. Kasi mataas ang expectation, di ba? These programs are famous of having super heavy workloads, which makes sense as the subject covered in STEM programs are extremely complex. So being able to adequately understand them requires hours of extra work outside of class. Going through a STEM program is pretty intense. It requires a lot of dedication, perseverance, sacrifice to make it all the way through. So however, this style of education builds the skills and mindsets that employers find incredibly valuable. Yun naman yung return on after. No, yung high demand of computing professionals na magagaling sa STEM makes sense if you consider how much of our lives have become reliant on some of digital technology. So it's how we communicate and keep in touch. It's how we entertain ourselves. It started the engines in our cars, in medical practice. It keeps us alive. It drives massive segment of our economy. And better or worse, advances in digital technology will continue to control the future direction of our society. So, as our daily lives become more reliant on software and digital devices, jobs in computing will become increasingly more important. Ito po yung reason kung bakit ang mga trabaho under STEM ay pwede natin i-consider as highly paid professionals. No, and even in the colleges and universities, karamihan sa mga pastors ay nanggagaling sa STEM. So, very promising ang track and strand na science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Now, should you pursue to a STEM education? Well, if you are expecting to find a great career straight, straight out of college, Going through a STEM is one of your best way to do that. So, are you serious about your education? Well, if you do and if you are, STEM requires an insane amount of commitment and hard work. Are you actually interested in STEM? So much of being stressful in STEM program comes down to a student's ability to stay focused on, curious about, and of course, actively interested in a subject. So, the students who succeed are the ones apply themselves every day and approach that challenge head on. So if you think STEM would be a good fit for you after this vlog, then you might be exactly the type of person you should pursue a STEM education. So I hope nakatulong ang video ito para sa pagpursue mo sa STEM career. See you sa ating mga susunod na video.